What is going on guys welcome back and today's video we're going to learn how to build a simple bandwidth monitor in Python. And this is essentially a tool that allows us to see in somewhat real time how much bytes we send or receive via the network. So let us get right into it. We're going to start with two very simple imports. By the way, excuse my voice, I'm still uh, a little bit sick here, but uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue here. We're going to start by importing time and we're going to start by importing PSUtil. PSUtil basically stands for Process and System Utilities and both libraries are part of the core Python stack, so you don't need to install anything. And the first thing we want to do here is we want to get the current amount of bytes that are sent or that have been sent and have been received in the past. So we're going to say last underscore received is going to be, and then we use PSUtil by typing PSUtil.netIO counters. And let me just turn off the auto completion real quick. Uh, NetIO counters, and then this returns a name tuple. From this name tuple, we want to have the bytes underscore RECV for the bytes received. So this gives us the current total amount of bytes received. We can do the same thing with last sent by typing PSUtil dot netio counters bytes underscore sent. And then we can also say last total equals last received plus last sent like that. Um, and this gives us the current state. Why is the current state important? Because we don't want to get the total amount every time, like with every tick. So for example, when we're going to use the time module to say, okay, give me the update every five seconds or every two seconds or every second. Uh, we don't want to have the total amount one half what's different. So we want to have um, additional uh, w what came to it. So we want to have the additional values here. Um, and because of that, we need to have the current values and then see what has changed, what has increased there. Um, and for this, we're going to do a basic endless loop. We're going to say while true, and we're going to calculate the current values. So essentially what we can do here is we can copy this. It's a little bit like a do while you could say this part. Um, and we're going to change these here to bytes underscore received to bytes underscore sent and to bytes underscore total, which is going to be bytes received plus bytes sent. So this does the same thing. We get the current amount here and we get the current amount here. But then, of course, this is executed all the time, which means that we can take this and subtract the previous value to get the change. We can take these values and calculate the differences. So we can take the bytes that we have calculated here and that we have calculated here, and we can subtract these values to get the difference. So we can say new received equals what we got now, bytes received minus what we had previously, last received, and this can be done for send as well. So new send is going to be bytes sent minus last sent and essentially the total is the same thing. So bytes total last total. So this is a difference essentially. Again, here we get the current value, here we get the current value, but multiple times because we're in a loop and here we calculate the differences. Now, the only thing that we need to do now is we need to turn all of this into megabytes because those are the bytes. We want to turn it into megabytes to have a better overview. So we're going to say MB underscore new uh, received and this is going to be just bytes or actually new received sorry new received divided by 1024 this would make it kilobytes divided by 1024 again makes it megabytes and we do the same thing with mb new sent equals same thing for sent and then mb new total same thing for total so basically just dividing two times by 1024 to make it megabytes. Um, and then all we need to do is we need to first of all print the result to get to get our monitoring tick, you could say or monitoring message. And then we want to update the previous value. So we want to update those because we don't want to always uh, use those values that we had in the beginning we want to do it um, based on those previous values here. So we're going to just print here a formatted string, which is going to say MB new received up to two decimal places, a floating point number. We're going to say so many megabytes received. And then we're going to say MB new sent, same uh, formatting, 
and be sent and then we do the same thing with total mb new total mb total so this is basically the message let me just see if i'm not blocking this okay i cannot be blocking this because my camera is in the top right uh so this is the message that we're going to get all the time of course we don't want to get it um every millisecond we want to give it get it every second for example so we say time sleep one uh, but before that we're going to update the value so we're going to say that the last uh, received is essentially what we had here so we're going to take these values and make them those values so that we can have new values here and then subtract again from the previous ones um, so this is just going to be bytes received this is going to be bytes sent and this is going to be total equals bytes total like that and that is essentially it this is how you build a simple bandwidth monitor in python and we can now go ahead actually and just see what happens if we just run this um now at the moment nothing happens because i'm not really doing anything that is internet related so i'm going to now stop this and we're going to take a look at uh what happens if we visit some websites all right, so I've opened up a web browser on the left and I have PyCharm on the right. Now I'm going to run our script. You can see basically nothing happens here. And if I type something into Google, like, I don't know, uh, neural nine tutorials or something, first of all, by just typing, you can see data is being sent. But here you can see now more data being sent. Uh, you can see some of my videos. And if I go, for example, now to decorators, to this tutorial here, first of all, let me just disable the sound. Uh, but you can see that a lot of data is being sent around so we don't even have to watch the video here but you can see things are loading things are happening you can see how much i'm sending you can see how much i'm receiving you can see that i'm receiving for the most part so i'm not really sending a lot um because yeah i'm sending requests and then i'm getting the data which is the main thing here now things look differently if i use a website where i have to upload something so for example this simple image resizer here i can just select an image from my computer can go to logo.png and you will see probably that when I say uh, resize it's going to send some data yeah you can see here the data is being sent um, but also received of course this is not a huge image so obviously we're not going to see gigabytes of data here but you can play around with that you can upload a video you can do an internet speed test you will you will see that this tool actually shows you how much megabytes you receive or send uh, and of course, if you just want to see the bytes, you just don't divide. Uh, if you want to see kilobytes, you divide just once by 1024. If you want to see gigabytes, you divide one more time and so on. You can do whatever you want, but this is how you build a simple bandwidth monitoring tool in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.